things I like about it uh, that make a noise, and I'm a noise maker. I like that. But uh, it didn't just say make a noise. It said make it. It told us the kind of noise to make. Some noise I wish I'd rather not hear. I hate to hear a whiner. Amen. My grandchildren sometimes, they get in one of them whining moods, and I can't stand that. i got to stop that. Amen. That to, that to, that to get on you. Amen. Uh, and those are kind of noises that you don't like to hear or to be around. But joyful sounds. Amen. It's wonderful to be around and to hear. I'd lot rather hear somebody laugh than hear somebody cry. I'd lot rather see somebody smile than frown. Hadn't you? You ought to stand up here and look out there. Amen. Uh, Sometimes you had to laugh out loud. <laughs> Amen. Of course, I can understand why y'all laugh sitting out there looking up here. Uh, but uh, I think that God fixed it to where His people are a joyful people. Amen. Amen. We have heard the joyful sound. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I like that, don't you? <clears throat> Amen. Now, we it's been a while since we sang that old hymn, but I like it. Amen. You have heard the joyful sound. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. What better sound could you hear? What better sound, amen, could you rejoice with than to know that we are redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus? Praise God, praise God. Well, let's read Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy uh, only lasts for a couple of days. Amen. Oh, what did it say? Amen. Amen. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth just for a couple and three years. Amen. To all generations. Amen. We have uh, uh, took several services and dealt with this uh, first part of this uh, chapter of Psalms. Amen. The first three verses, I think. If I remember right, we've been there quite a while, but I want to take turn it down just a little bit. We've got to speed back there some way or other. Amen. And uh, uh, the Lord's commanded us to shout and to sing aloud. Uh, amen. To uh, make a joyful noise uh, as triumph. We are to praise God. We are to serve God. Amen. That means we are to have joy in service. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. And uh, uh, spiritual knowledge when he said, Know ye that the Lord, He is God. Amen. And uh, we are God's people, and we are His sheep. <clears throat> Amen. In uh, verse 4, we want to look at tonight, the Lord will help us for a while here, Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. Praise God. 
There are several things in this uh, verse 4 that I had never thought of before until I read them again and again. And some that's what I like about God's book. You can read the same verse 25 times, and every time you read it, you see something there that you hadn't saw before. Amen. Uh, enter into His gates with thanksgiving. Amen. To me, I see here that He wants us to go to His sanctuary. Amen. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Now, can I tell you that you can uh, you can go to church and never go to church? Amen. That sounds like paradox, but it really isn't. But it's so. You can go to church and yet really never go to church. <clears throat> Amen. For when we go to God's house, it ought to be the place where we go to worship Him. It is a place where we go to give praise unto Him. Amen. And uh, whether anybody else says hello or goodbye or kiss my foot, <clears throat> we're not going there to hear the, any of that. We're going there to worship Him. God. Hallelujah. Somebody said they didn't they didn't smile at me tonight. What difference does it make? Did you go to get a smile or did you go to worship God? We go to the house of God to worship Him. Praise God. I'm a feeling better right now. Amen. When I look at this verse uh, again this evening, amen, it said to enter into His gates. And then the next phrase, uh, into his courts. Amen. That tells me that there is some boundaries. Praise God. Are you all listening here? There are some boundaries to worship. Come on, we want you to get inside. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now. Uh, we have a terminology in Pentecost that nobody else understands and, and knows what to do with. Uh, if we is to tell some good old Methodist somewhere that when we go to church we get in, they say, what do you get in? <laughs> Amen. Uh, but that's our own terminology. What it means is we are on the inside. Amen. There used to be a uh, somebody used to sing a chorus and a song years ago, and I remembered as a boy, I'd rather be on the inside looking out than to be on the outside looking in. Amen. And I don't know about you, but you can you can live in a spirit of worship. Amen. And you don't have to be inside the church house, the physical church house. To be in the spirit of worship. Hallelujah. Uh, somebody said one time, they was talking about an, another certain individual, and they said they're too heavenly minded to be any earthly good. Amen. And I thought about it, and I said, that can't be so. For the more heavenly minded we are, the more earthly good we become. If the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and trodden under foot of men. Amen. Are you all listening to me? So when we go to God's house, amen, we worship Him. But when you go to your job, you can still stay in the spirit and in the frame of mind of praise and adoration and thanksgiving unto the Lord. Amen. If you go to Amen, the job where you work in the right spirit, if you've had a prayer meeting that morning before you left to go to work, Amen. Every time that old machine turns over, it sounds like it'll say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Some of you ladies work up here at the sewing factory. Every time them sewing machines makes a noise, it'll sound like they're saying, Praise God, Praise God, Praise God, Praise God, Praise God, Praise God. Hallelujah. Are y'all listening to me? Somebody said, I've never been that way before. Well, you ought to try it. Amen. Amen. We ought to enter into His gates with thanksgiving. First thing you get up in the morning, if you'll have a thanks on your heart unto the Lord for breath to breathe today, for health today, 
for clothes to wear today, for food to eat today, amen, for a job to work on today, for means to care for your family and children, amen, for a way to provide shoes for the baby's feet, amen. We have much to thank God for. Hallelujah. Glory. I'm feeling better. Amen. I was talking to you Sunday morning about, amen, God being our provider. Praise the Lord. Some of y'all, the last recession we had, what was it, 80 and 81? Amen. A lot of folks, amen, uh, was with that. And did you know that I noticed that most of y'all kept right on getting up? Amen. And going to work and feeding your families and feeding your children. Amen. And paying the rent. Amen. And you tell the bill. Praise God. Amen. And God provided for you. We have much to be thankful for. Hallelujah. I said we must have much to be thankful for. And if we will enter into that uh, that place of praise and into that uh, place of thanksgiving. Hey man, somebody said, well, hey man, I do that when I go to church. If your religion's not any better than just when you go to church, it's not worth much. Your salvation ought to be good on the job. It ought to be good on the street corner. Praise God. It ought to be good over at Uncle John's house. Hey man, it ought to be good over at Aunt Susie's house. Hey man, it ought to help me here. Hey man, somebody said if I was talking about the Lord all the time, somebody would think you crazy. I haven't seen anybody if I went crazy yet because they talked about Jesus. Hey man, help me here. Hey man, help me now. Are y'all listening to me? Somebody said there's people in the nut house because went crazy over religion. Uh, you're probably right. Went crazy over religion, but they didn't have much salvation. <laughs> salvation won't let you go crazy. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The psalmist said the Lord will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Are y'all listening to me? God will keep you in perfect peace. Amen. God will keep you sanctified if you'll stay on Him and keep your heart in tune with Him and stay inside the perimeter of His blessings and the flowing of His Spirit and the praise and thanksgiving and worship. Amen. You can live in that atmosphere. Somebody said, I never have. Amen. That's beside the point. You can live in an atmosphere of worship and praise unto the Lord. Somebody say hello. It's been a while ago. I remember uh, we was having such a good time at home. Amen. Uh, serving the Lord. And, amen. The telephone rang. It says, Savage answered and said, Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't know who, I don't remember now who is on the other end. Amen. I, I often wonder what they thought. <laughs> amen. Try it sometime. Pick up the phone. Amen. Instead of saying mule barn. Amen. Say, Praise the Lord. Amen. You'd be surprised the reaction you get. <laughs> Amen. Why, Lord, have mercy. Are y'all listening to me? <laughs> Amen. If we could understand what it means to live in the presence of God, live in the perimeter of His blessings, live. Amen. Uh, we used to sing a song. Amen. Uh, about being under the spout where the glory comes out. Amen. There's a big there's a little end down here. And I'm on the little end of God's blessing. He's pouring it in. Amen. And I am the recipient of His glory and power. Hallelujah. You know why? Amen. God inhabits the praises of His people. Praise the Lord. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. The word praise is mentioned in, in the Psalms probably more than any other single word in any uh, book of the Bible, the word praise, praise ye the Lord. Amen. Brother Jimbo, you got your Bible? Turn over to Psalms 117. I want you to read it. Brother John A., you got your Bible? Amen. Turn to uh, Psalms 150. Amen. Praise the Lord. I believe in praise and God. How about you? I haven't lost my praise. 
Amen. Because uh, there's some uh, nitwits that's running around that lives like, amen, the devil and still claim to be, amen, filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And they can sip their beer and liquor and smoke their cigarettes and run with the other man's wife and still claim to speak in tongues. Amen. And go to ch- church and, amen, and do their little ditty. Amen. But I want to tell you, amen, I believe there's a genuine that we can praise God. And if you don't mind, I think this church ought to get in the spirit of worship and praise more often than what we have been. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalms 117. Wait a minute. Hey Amen. How many folks are supposed to do this? Hey Amen. Nations and people. Hey Amen. I mean, whole countries, he said. Hey Amen. That means it wouldn't be out of order if all America was saved and praising God. It wouldn't be out of order if everybody in this church house got into it. Hey Amen. All at one time and just started praising the Lord. Praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise Him, all ye people. What are we praising Him for? (laughs) His merciful kindness. Did you know that He is merciful to you, Bobby? Amen. Did you know He's kind to you? Amen. You lived a... Amen. Uh, How many? 81 years? Amen. Got pretty good health for an 81-year-old man. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Did you know that God's good to you, Shelby Frazier? Amen. Still wearing a suit that he bought 46 years ago. Amen. I was off the bat the other night. Amen. I said 40 years. It's 46, he told me. He told me he's going to wear it again. Amen. Why, God's good to Shelby Frazier. Did you know God's good to you first? Amen. His merciful kindness is great. Amen. Toward us. And the truth of the Lord. Amen. Does what? Amen. The truth of the Lord endureth forever. And then what did it say? Praise ye the Lord. I think it'd be in order. Amen. For us to lift up our hands unto Him and praise Him. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Do you love God? Say glory. Marcia, see if you can find that, them piano keys up here. For Jerry, see if you can find these guitar strings. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's see here. Brother, who has a beating on his, his uh, Tom Tom's Volco? Amen. Ronnie, see if you can come over here and find them sticks. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Did you know the Bible told us to praise Him in so many different ways? Hallelujah. Did you know what praise means? Amen. I wanted to find out what it means. And Amen. That's the reason this book's laying up here. I'm surprised I haven't knocked it off yet. Amen. When you look it up in the Strong's Concordance, the word praise means laudation. And I wonder if I find the root word of what that means now. Now, that sounds like an awful big word to me. But I want to get back to the nitty-gritty where it originated. Amen. He said, thus to be clamorously foolish to rave. And then it said to celebrate. Now, I know what that is. I know how to celebrate. Amen. How many of y'all ever had a birthday party? Celebrating, ain't you? Amen. They got them that things they blow and make noise. Got cake to eat. Amen. Everybody's laughing. Amen. Slapping you on the back. Amen. Better be careful. I will grab a board and beat you while they at it. Amen. But everybody's in a 
in what we might would call a hilarity atmosphere. Hey, man, they are celebrating your birthday. Hey, y'all know what it means to celebrate anniversaries? If you're married, if you ain't married, you wanting to. Amen. You wish you were. If it wasn't for that want to, we could probably keep George Horn up here a little more often. Amen. I'll tell you what, the gas company is making money, hey man, the last two months. All of it off of George Horn going to Richlands and back. Hey Amen. Ah, but you know what? Comes anniversary. Now some of us fellers, we we are we are pitiful. We have a tendency to forget things like that. But you know what? We have reminders. Amen. Help me now. Ah, glory to God. Amen. And those reminders are the things that we happen to have married. Amen. A few years ago. And they see to it that we remember whenever we forget. Amen. I knew a couple one time. Praise the Lord. And, and she had to remind him every year of their anniversary. And one year, she said to herself, she said, I ain't going to remind him. I want to see if he remembers. And just as she suspected, he forgot. And she got mad and pouted for three days and wouldn't talk to him. Wasn't that pitiful? <laughs> Amen. Bless their hearts. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Amen. I want to tell you, amen, but when you're celebrating something, if you've been married as long as me and my wife have, you've got something to celebrate. Amen. And then some. Coming 34 years in a few weeks. Amen. Wow. With the same woman. 34 years. Amen. Ah, but it's getting sweeter as the days go by. And I love the Apostle Paul's writings when he said, Husbands, love your wives. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad he put that in there. Amen. Y'all listen to me. But we have something to celebrate. Sometimes we celebrate it in different ways. Sometimes we just go out and eat dinner together. Some, are y'all listening to me? Sometimes I buy her a present. Sometimes she does me too. Amen. Sometimes, and it's once in a great while, maybe a couple of times in 34 years, I bought her flowers. It ain't been many. She could probably count them on one hand, maybe less than one hand. Amen. Praise God. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. But some reason or other, when it comes that time of year, amen, we want to do something special. Praise God. Oh, I remember the first few years we was married, we couldn't afford to do nothing special. Amen. We done good to have each other. Amen. Wasn't nothing special. I mean, just the fact that it was us. I guess that was special, Slim. Amen. Praise the Lord. When we got married, we didn't have money to have a honeymoon. Amen. We spent our honeymoon in, in a parsonage and a revival meeting with, amen, brother and sister Dodd in Wilson, Oklahoma. You're surprised I remember, don't you? Amen. Praise the Lord. What a honeymoon. Praise God and I, I know she remembers that because she, she found out I was ticklish during that week of honeymoon in that revival. Amen. And she tickled my feet while I was, she's trying to get me out of bed one morning, start tickling my feet, and I kicked her fingernails plumb off. Amen. She probably thought I'd forgot that too. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hi, brother. But there are some things you know you want to celebrate because it's worthwhile. It has some meaning to you. 
praise God can I tell you every morning I get up I want to celebrate all over again I've been saved for the last several years and God's been good to me and His mercy's been great Amen and He's been gracious to my life Hallelujah I feel like shouting Hallelujah I said hallelujah I said hallelujah Well lift your hands and celebrate Wonderful to know God in every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Hallelujah. He's been better to me than he's been to anybody else. He saved me when I was lost. He's kept me these 36 years. I've been saved by grace and washed in the blood. He's healed my bodies. He's delivered me from the power of sin. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Psalms 150, Brother Johnny. Where? Where is we at here tonight? Let's praise Him. He told us to praise the Lord in His sanctuary. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Ha 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 ha! Woo! Woo! Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! Thank you, Lord! <laughs> Woo! Come up here. I want everybody to hear it. Don't you read it up here? Yes, sir. Turn this thing on there. Praise him. Praise him in his sanctuary. Then what did it say? Praise him in the firmament of his power. That's everywhere. In the permanent of his power. Oh, David said in another psalm, Though I take the wings of the morning and fly to the far ends of the earth, thou art there. Though I descend into hell, thou art there. So we are to praise Him in the permanent. That means everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. That means it's in order to praise Him in the cornfield. It's in order to praise Him at the woodshed. It's in order to praise Him in the parking lot. Hallelujah. Let the glory to God. Ha 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 Praise Praise him in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for all his mighty acts. Whee! Could we spend a while on that one? Yes. Hallelujah. All of his acts are mighty because he is a mighty God. 
Paul said, our weapons are not carnal. But a what? Mighty. But a what? Mighty. But a what? Mighty. Mighty through what? Through God. Through. Hallelujah. To the pulling down. The stronghold. Of strongholds. Yes. Hallelujah. His mighty ass. And casting down vain imaginations. Yes. 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 Amen. And everything that opposes it set against God. Lift your hands and praise them again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tell the devil he's a liar. You're going to praise him anyhow. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Woo. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise Him in this sanctuary. Praise Him in the permanent of His power. Yes, hallelujah. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Because yes, yes. <laughs> He's a mighty God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We ain't got time to go no further. It said praise Him according to His excellent greatness. <laughs> Woo! According to his excellent greatness. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. We haven't there touched that one yet. We're going to make a comparison to our praises as to how great he is. According we got to come up on something. Amen. Let's come up a little higher on our praises. Amen. Let's exalt him a little more. Amen. According to his greatness. Hallelujah, let's praise Him more. Let's give glory unto Him more. <laughs> glory to God. Come on, praise Him. Hallelujah. Woo! Great is the Lord. Great is the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah! Thank God for His greatness! Thank God for His greatness! <laughs> well, y'all just look on if you want to. Hallelujah. I feel like it's time we ought to praise him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs> hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank what else does it say, Brother Johnny? Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Oh, I wish we had a trumpet to blow. As close as I can get to it. <laughs> right. God. Somebody said, what do you holler like that all the time for? Hey, hey man, if you was a feeling what I was a feeling, you'd holler too. Yes. I'm talking Ooh. about the greatness of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Him on the trumpet. Praise Him with the psaltery and the harp. Uh-huh. Amen. Praise Him with the timbrel uh-huh. and dance. Uh-huh. Praise Him with the stringed instruments and organs. Uh-huh. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the, ye the Lord. We all can do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise Him! 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 Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him.
praise him. <laughs> oh, glory to God. <laughs> praise him, Joel. Amen. Praise him, Elvis. Praise him, Anthony. Praise him, Anthony. Amen. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise him. Praise him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noontime. Oh, praise him. Praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. Praise him. Oh, praise him. Praise him in the morning. Oh, praise him. Oh, praise him in the sun. Come on, let's praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Oh, praise Him. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Oh, praise Him. Oh, praise Him. Oh, praise Him when the sun goes down. I believe I'll praise Him. Oh, praise Him. Oh, praise Him in the morning. Praise the Lord. Praise him when the sun goes down. Come on, let's praise him. Oh, praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, praise him. Oh, praise him when the sun goes down. Come on, let's praise him.